One bait catches more fish than any other bait in the world the night crawler. Most fish are opportunistic feeders, so they love the night crawler because it's an easy, delicious, nutrition packed meal with virtually no defense mechanisms. And night crawlers don't just catch a lot of fish, they also catch big fish. Here in my state of Michigan, nine of the 45 documented state record catches where the bait was specified were caught with night crawlers or worms. That means night crawlers and worms account for 20% of state record catches in my state. It's also responsible for more state records than any other single bait or lure. In today's video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about fishing with night crawlers. And if you do enjoy the video or learn something of value here today, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Now your night crawlers are definitely going to be most effective while they're alive. So the first thing I'm going to cover today is how to store your night crawlers and keep them that way. Night crawlers are going to thrive in any environment between 38 and 70 degrees, but that 38 to 42 range is going to allow them to remain dormant while retaining their strength, which is going to make them last a lot longer. The tricky part is maintaining that environment while you're out fishing, especially on a hot day. If you've ever taken night crawlers out fishing on a hot summer day in one of those standard containers that they come in, then you know they don't do very well in the sun. Because of this, I scoured the internet for the best possible container for taking night crawlers with you, keeping them cool and moist and keeping them alive. And that's when I came across the Crawler Crib by Intruder, one of this video's sponsors. The Crawler Crib is a box with six breathable insulated walls that allow air inside but don't allow moisture to escape. It has a sturdy, lightweight, durable plastic frame as well as a locking lid that also has additional holes for ventilation. When you open the lid, there is also a slot for an included water bottle ice pack. All you need to do with the ice pack is fill it with water, stick it in the freezer, and when you're ready to go out on the water with your night crawlers, simply slide it back into the slot underneath the lid and close it back down. Also included in the box is Intruder's good and lively worm bedding. And let me tell you guys, the night crawlers love this stuff and so do I. And now let's go ahead and put our crawlers in the crib. The first thing we want to do here is just pop the lock on the top of the crawler crib here. We're going to go ahead and open that up and you'll see we have our plastic water bottle slash ice pack in here on the top. We're going to slide that out of that slot as well. That way we can fill that up with water, stick it in the freezer so it's ready to go. Next we're going to take out the bag of included good and lively worm bedding and I'll tell you right away my favorite thing about this bedding is that it's not dirt. Dirt is just messy, it stains your hands, it makes you smell bad. This stuff is clean and odorless, it's eco-friendly and biodegradable and the worms absolutely love it. So now we're just going to cut open the bag here, just like that, go ahead and dump the contents of the bag straight into the crawler crib, just like that. Now the bedding is dry out of the box and the night crawlers require some moisture. So what we need to do is add some water, but not just any water. We need to add some non-chlorinated water. Most purified bottled water doesn't have chlorine in it, especially if it's gone through the process of reverse osmosis, which this one here states that it has. Just check to make sure whatever brand of water that you're using uh, doesn't have any chlorine in it. So now I'm just gonna add some water and I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time kind of spread it around here and then just use my hand to mix it up and just make sure that all of the mixture has some moisture to it. If you don't want to get stuff stuck to your hands, just use some gloves during this part. I probably should have put some gloves on, but it's too late now. All right, one full bottle ended up being the perfect amount just to get that moisture evenly distributed throughout the entire mixture. And now, very simply, we're just going to add our night crawlers. And I'm not gonna mix them through the mixture. They'll find their own way through it, but I am just gonna spread them out here and give them a little bit of a head start. And now that our friends are finding their way in their new habitat, we're gonna go ahead and close the lid. You'll notice that the lid is insulated just like the other sides with a breathable material. And there's also additional ventilation right here on the top so you don't have to worry about them not getting enough air. And in the morning when the water in our ice pack has frozen, we'll go ahead and slide that back into the slot and take it with us so these guys can stay cool in their nice new habitat all day long while we're fishing. Now that we've talked about storing your night crawlers, let's get right into the fishing. And there are countless ways to rig a night crawler. I'm not gonna cover all of the possible ways that you could fish with night crawlers, but I will give you some general rules of thumb and what your main objective should be when you put a night crawler in the water. Now with regard to hooks, I like to stick with the long shank J hooks or Aberdeen hooks between sizes one and six. Now if I'm targeting panfish or something like a small trout, I'm gonna go with that smaller size six hook and I typically will use a size six Aberdeen hook. If I'm fishing for any species outside of those smaller ones like catfish or bass or anything like that, I'll tend to go with the bigger hook, the size one. 
Now, as mentioned before, fish love and cannot resist the night crawler. So the most important thing to consider is where the fish are and how to get the night crawler in front of them. For targeting fish on the bottom, specifically bottom feeders, the Carolina rig is an excellent presentation. All you're gonna need for a Carolina rig is a hook and some type of weight that's typically gonna be located anywhere from six inches to several feet behind the hook. There are a lot of different types and sizes of weights, but the weight that you use ultimately should be determined by the depth and the speed of the water you're fishing in. Now, if the fish you're targeting are on the bottom, but the bottom is littered with a bunch of debris and sticks and leaves and rocks and stuff like that, that can create an issue by making it hard for the fish to find your night crawler and all that mess. Now, in that scenario, you can still go with the Carolina rig, but you're going to have to add some buoyancy to that night crawler, and we'll get to that in just a second. But another effective method would be the drop shot. It's an excellent way for keeping that night crawler just off the bottom. Now, if you're fishing in shallow water or the fish are suspended high on the water column, a classic night crawler under a bobber is a great idea. And one of my all time favorite techniques to fish in those same situations is weightless. A weightless presentation is very simple because you're just taking a night crawler, putting it on a hook and throwing it out there. But it's also one of the most natural presentations that you could possibly put in front of those fish. I especially like to fish the weightless presentation in situations where the fish might be more highly pressured or in shallow streams where I can throw it out there and let the stream current kind of carry it down naturally in front of those fish. Another way to rig the night crawler, and one of my favorites by far, is to use it as a trailer. One way to do this is by simply putting a night crawler on a jig head, and with that jig head, you can target fish at different depths while covering water at the same time. You can also add a night crawler to the back of an inline spinner, and this is an extremely popular method, especially here in Michigan, out on the St. Clair River, and other bodies of water for targeting walleye. When you put a night crawler on the back of a spinner, the spinner does a really good job of bringing the fish in to investigate, and when they get there and see the night crawler they're almost guaranteed to bite i actually recently landed a muskie using this technique and right after this video you should go check out that one it's a good one now we've covered several different ways to rig night crawlers but there's actually a couple more things that you can do to add even more to your presentation. In addition to modifying the way that you rig your night crawler, you can actually modify the night crawler itself. One way you can do this is by adding buoyancy to your night crawler, making it flow in the water. One way you can do this is by using a worm blower, which is just a glorified syringe. You could even use a regular syringe for this, but you're just going to inject air into that night crawler and that's gonna help it stay afloat. So if you're fishing on a Carolina rig and you've got some debris or some vegetation at the bottom that's gonna make it hard for them to find that night crawler, simply inject some air into it and then it'll be floating just off the bottom above that vegetation where it's more visible to those fish. Another way you can achieve this, and my personal favorite way, is to inject oil into the night crawler. Oil is going to have the same effect of adding buoyancy to the night crawler because the oil floats in water. But as an added bonus, it's also going to add scent and flavor to that night crawler. I really like to use the Pro Cure bait oils for this purpose, and my favorite scents are going to be the Garlic Plus and the always delicious bud juice. Procure has a lot of different bait oils that you can choose from and a lot of them are species specific so I highly suggest you guys go through and check those out. So now we've covered different ways to rig night crawlers and how to add scent, flavor, and buoyancy but did you know you can actually also change the color of your night crawlers. You can change the color of your night crawlers by dyeing them externally or internally. Some of the methods for dyeing them externally will work a little bit faster, but the results tend to wash off a lot quicker. My personal favorite way to dye night crawlers is by feeding them food that contains the dye in it. And the best product I've found hands down for dyeing night crawlers internally comes from one of today's video sponsors, Best Bait. It's called Worm Glow. Worm Glow is an environmentally friendly food additive that not only turns the live worms chartreuse, but it also increases their size, makes them more active, and extends the life of the night crawlers. But rather than just talk about it, let me go ahead and show you guys how it works. In the crawler crib here, I have three dozen live night crawlers. And on the back of the Worm Glow bottle, there are directions specific to Canadian night crawlers, European night crawlers, and red wigglers. It says here to evenly sprinkle one teaspoon of worm glow to a carton containing 12 to 24 live worms. There's no need to mix it into the bedding. It says just sprinkle evenly on the top of the bedding and replace the lid. And then down below that we have our temperature and storage recommendations for each species. And for Canadian night crawlers, it says to store at 64 to 70 degrees 
for 48 hours and then after that we're going to refrigerate them. And then they should turn a brilliant chartreuse color after two to five days. So we need a teaspoon for every 12 to 24 live worms. Well, I want mine to be a brilliant chartreuse, so we're gonna do it for every 12. And we have three dozen crawlers in here, so that's three teaspoons or one tablespoon. So I have a tablespoon measure right here. So we're gonna go ahead and measure out one tablespoon. And if I spill a little bit, that's okay. Oh, I spilled kind of a lot here. Let's uh. Let's just put some of that back in there. All right, well, it's not gonna be exactly one tablespoon, but it's gonna be close enough. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that as evenly as I can around the top of the bedding. And you can already see a green color starting to form in there as it contacts that moisture. All right, so that's about as evenly distributed as I was gonna get it. So we're gonna go ahead and close our lid and then we're gonna check on this in two days and in five days to see the results. All right guys, we are right at the 48 hour mark and it's time to check on our little friends and see how much progress they've made. As you can see, the bedding here is already very, very green, but let's see how uh, the night crawlers in here look. I can already see them moving. Here's one right here. Let's go ahead and pull them out and oh yeah, he's already starting to have that greenish hue, as you guys can see. And I think if we give this uh, a couple more days, maybe even less, he's gonna be a, an even more vibrant green. But yeah, you guys can see, already starting to have a, a pretty solid effect on him. You can see the green color pretty much throughout his entire body. And I'm willing to bet the other night crawlers in there look about the same, but we're not gonna harass him too much. As you guys can see as well, this guy is pretty lively. He's definitely <laughs> moving around a lot and trying to get away from me. And that's a good sign. It means the food is really working. And these guys are full of energy and strength. So just exactly what we wanted to see. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check on him again on day five and see what the final result is. All right, guys, we are now heading into day number five. Technically, it's been exactly four days since we put the night crawlers in here, but I'm using these tomorrow, so it's now or never. We're gonna go ahead and open this and check on our results. So right off the bat, you can see that the bedding is extremely green. And one other thing I wanna note that you guys can't see is that this has no smell to it at all. This is that good and lively bedding by Intruder, and it is absolutely odorless. So the bedding is extremely green, but let's go ahead and see how the night crawlers look, if they are just as green as that bedding. All right, guys, I got a few of these guys out of here chosen at random, and as you can see, they are super green. And another thing that I'm noticing is they are bigger. These night crawlers are definitely bigger than when I put them in, and they were hard to catch. They are so lively and strong, and it has to be from that worm glow superfood stuff that I put in there. These guys are basically nuclear night crawlers. Just look how green they are and how active they are. These are gonna be perfect when we go out tomorrow morning. They're definitely gonna catch some attention, especially with that bright green color against the dark clay and soil on the bottom. So I gotta say, I am thoroughly impressed, not just with the green color that we have here from the worm glow, but just the size and activity level of these night crawlers is off the charts. How cool is that? That's gonna do it for today's video and I hope you guys did find some value in it. If you wanna pick up any of the products you saw in today's video, there will be links down in the description for you guys to go and find those. And if you're looking to pick up some night crawlers or really any live bait, Best Baits website is a great place to do that. You can buy it in bulk, have it shipped directly to your house. And you know you're gonna get that quality because you're buying direct from the source. I had 120 night crawlers shipped to me. It arrived in a box that was lined with a foil insulation and four ice packs which were still cold and even partially frozen. And all of the night crawlers were cool, moist, and totally alive. Kind of blows my mind that you can have live animals shipped to you through the mail. I just did not know that that was a thing. You guys can also go check out the crawler crib on Intruder's website and they have several different models to fit your needs in addition to a variety of other useful fishing products. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the whole video and I'll see you guys in the next one.